Today's topic is parts of speech. Parts means words and speech means talk or conversation. We can say there are eight parts or words to speak English language. First one is noun, second verb, third pronoun, fourth adjective, fifth adverb, sixth preposition, seventh interjection, and eighth conjunction. We start with noun. Noun is a name. Name of a person, place, or a thing. Take an example of your room. Whatever you look at, it must have some name. For example, there is a bed in your room, curtains, walls, roof, fan, table, chair. Everything which is there, it has a name. A name is your noun. Next one is adjective. Adjective is a good friend of a noun. In what sense? Adjective basically describes a noun. All the colors are noun. For example, if you have a bed in your room, you can say, I have a brown bed. Brown is your adjective. Number also come under adjectives. If you say, I have two beds in my room, two is your adjective. All the sizes are also adjectives. If you say I have a big bed, big is your adjective. Next one is words. I just give you a tip here in order to find your words. Just write the word I in the center and write as many words as you can around this word I. Whatever sounds good with the word I will be your verb and whatever doesn't sound good will not be your verb. For example, I have written four words here. We can say I sit. We can say I will. So sit and will both are verbs. But we can't say I bed because bed is your noun. We can't say I angry. We can say I am angry. But we can't say I angry. So angry is your adjective. This is how you can find your verbs. Come to the next part of speech that is adverb. Look at the word here. Adverb has this verb inside. It means it is a friend of a verb. In what sense? Adverb basically describes an action, not a noun. Look at this map. We are not describing the man here, we are describing his action. The man walked slowly. It means we are describing his walk. Slowly is your adverb. Just remember one thing, most of the adverbs carry ly at the end. Next one is conjunction. Look at the word junction here. Junction means to link. We can say conjunction are those words that can link to words or sentences. Take an example of this conjunction and. We can say Sara and Sana are sitting together. So we join two words here with the conjunction and. You can, use, you can join sentences by using the conjunctions like but or if. So, because, and there are so many conjunctions like them. So, conjunction is to link. Next one is pronoun. Look at the word noun here. It means it takes the place of a noun. For example, it replaces noun. For the boy, you can say he. For the girl, you can say she. For bicycle, you can say it. So, pronouns basically replacement of noun. Next one is preposition. Look at the word position here. It means preposition tells you the position of a noun. Or we can say relationship of one noun with the other. You can say the birdie is on the box. 
you are just telling the position or the location of the birdie. You can say the birdie is inside the box or in the box. So on, in, over these words are preposition. Next one is interjection. The last one is interjection. Interjection expresses the extreme emotions or feelings. Like the words wow, oh, ouch, oops. These words are interjections. But they are no more in use in Pakistani English, so it is better to use articles as our eighth part of speech. In articles, we have definite and indefinite article. Definite means special one, that is the. We can say the holy book. Indefinite means a and an. A is used for the word starting with a consonant. A car. An is used for, an is used with the words starting with a vowel sound, like an apple. Let's have some practice now. There are many online games which you can use to practice your parts of speech. I have something here for you. Look at this game. There are some options that what you want to play. Uh, there's some music as well. You can, you must be listening to the music right now. So I just tell you how to play this game. Huh. You can choose whatever part of speech you want to practice. For example, right now, I want only noun and verbs. I do not want the other parts of speech here in this game. So let's start with only noun and verb. Okay, see there are words coming and you are going to shoot the correct one which is asked here. For example, they are asking verb from you now. So girl, son, catch, thing, you have to just shoot the right verb. Girl is not your verb, son is not a verb, catch is verb, definitely. Think is a verb. Okay, it is asking for noun now, see? Uh, noun is sun. Okay, then it's again asking for noun. Girl is a noun. Now see, it has changed now. It is asking for verb now. Verb is think. Then tell. So this way you can find online games and just practice your parts of speech. And I hope you will enjoy it practicing them in this way you can learn better so start from today just practicing your parts of speech thank you so much